Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, so holiday yesterday. We got a four-day week in front of us. Um, we continue to engage that upper Bollinger Band. The the bands themselves are just barely widening out at all. I mean, the bandwidth today is four, basically three point nine nine. Uh, but we have been engaged now with the band for three, six, seven sessions, uh, including this session, which means the potential for the band ride will continue into tomorrow. That's a lot of engagement with the upper band in some very small ranges. You can see how small these candles are, and that makes for some really choppy trading. It makes for the opportunity to make some, you know, some really bad decisions and over trade and get short too early and you know buy one too many and all all the bad stuff that comes with a slow grinding market near the highs. Um, we didn't touch the tape yesterday. Um, I was in the office. We were looking at it, but it was literally a, 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 th a two handle range, which morphed into a three handle range, which kind of turned into a five handle range at the end, up at 25. They dropped it out. Last night, um, whether it was on China currency news or this flu that's going on over there, or whatever this, you know, whatever the uh, uh, whatever the, the plague of the year is over there, um, SARS, you know, it's you know, it's 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 another one of those. Um, they took it down. Let's go over the hourly chart. They took it down to um, down to weekly pivot, maybe a handle, handle and a half short, but they held there. It broke down from the hourly mid band. And I posted this chart up on social not too long ago, and it's bumped back into it again. So for me, we're jammed between these two lines, hourly mid band and weekly pivot. And I, I said in the room a little bit ago, if you win this zone, you certainly win the day. Um, and if you win this zone, you potentially control the week because where do the bears wanna be? They wanna be below weekly pivot and they wanna stay there. Have they been able to execute that Anytime recently? Absolutely not. Um, if you're the Bulls, you want that to be the only weekly pivot test we see all week long. And you want to convert the hourly mid band like you did back here, and then off you go. So, this area, I expect it to be choppy as it was last night, but once it resolves, I expect it to reveal uh, potentially the direction uh, for the week. But just remember, we're up around all-time highs. It's choppy. We consolidated up here for, you know, all of uh, all of Friday, uh, and that bled into Sunday, Monday. So we've really just been kind of resting underneath this 3330 area. If the bulls are going to go, they need to take this area out early in the week and then start to grind higher. As far as the open today is concerned, you got volume weighted average price and our proprietary moving average, both coming in at 33.13, that's gonna be important. Um, and that coincides with the hourly mid band here, the blue line up at 33.16 and change. So 13 to 16 in the very short term, um, and you have your wider areas, that's weekly pivot, hourly mid band, bulls have to take out the highs, bears need to hold under weekly pivot and start printing stuff with 32s on it if they're gonna to wanna to have any kind of a week at all. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic day. There's going to be more stuff out on social. Uh, we're going to be coming out with dates for a couple of free webinars. Uh, we'll probably be doing those. I'm thinking we're doing those on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, but that'll be coming up. Uh, so I hope you can join us for that and come join us in the room. Take care. Trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.